Hi, I'm Emily. I'm the lead 3D artist here at CSM, and today we're going to talk about merging meshes together. So as you can see, I have a separate head and separate body, but I want this to be all in one avatar. So the first thing I do is I align it to the body, I rescale it and rotate it slightly just so it fits the body and it looks a bit natural than what it would if I just popped it on there. Just to be a bit more organized, I like to align her to the x-axis and applying all of the transformations on her so everything is even out. Another thing I like to do is go into sculpt mode and smooth out pieces of the mesh I don't want seen. When you remesh things, uh, the unseen things are going to disappear. So I'm just smoothing out things I don't want uh, into each other. So uh, I smooth out the old head into the new head. And then for the head, I smooth out some of the neck to make it go into the body. I altered parts of the jacket to make it look more like it's leaning onto her neck instead of just through her neck. I have what I like, I end up joining the two meshes together by just Control J. This will just make them uh, into one mesh, but they're not technically joined yet. So the next move would go back to scope mode, and I'm going to press R to change the density of the the remesh I want. So I put I put it relatively high, not crazy high, um, and then I press Control R, and that's going to automatically remesh it. Uh, the edge flows aren't going to be great, but um, I'm not going to be animating this character or anything, so this will be alright. So now the meshes are technically merged together. They are one single mesh. There's nothing. You can't separate the head and the body anymore. But as you can see, we were missing that texture because now there is no UVs. It's pretty much a brand new mesh. Um, so we have to go and make UVs ourselves again. So a quick tip for UVing, I like to add a UV grid as a texture on top of my mesh that I'm texturing. This helps me visualize my UV maps um, and how if they're stretching and things like that. So to add that, you're going to go to add uh, texture image, and then you're going to make sure you change the option to UV grid. So the next step is to just UV your mesh. I'm quickly and very roughly UVing and cutting up this mesh. Um, definitely uh, be more thorough with yours, um, for, but for this demo, I'm just quickly and very roughly UVing this mesh. So the very last thing that you want to do is now you want to bring the old textures onto this new mesh. So we're going to go into the shader and go to the same texture we just made for the UV. We're going to need to do the same thing, add a new texture image, and then we're going to make sure this one is blank instead of a, a UV grid. Um, I like to make it a 2K texture just for better details. Um, you can keep it at a 1K texture, but I like to do a 2K texture. You will then plug this up to the base color, um, and this is where the big texture will go on to. You want to overlap the old mesh with the new mesh completely, make sure they are completely aligned exactly the same, or the texture map might be a bit off. And 
to go then back into your shader menu and then you're going to go over to the very right hand side and you're going to go over to the rendering options. In the rendering option, make sure you are on cycles. Um, I think it defaults to Eevee, um, but we want it on cycles. Cycles is where the baking happens. Um, you'll see the little bake tab uh, down in these options. You're going to click it and then you're going to make sure you select just a few since we're doing just the base color. You can have uh, indirect and direct lighting affecting it, but I just want the color, so I leave just the color selected. And then you want to make sure you have selected objects checked. Um, you can have a cage as well, but I'm just going to do a 0.3 kind of space in between. And then I'm going to select the the new model and then the old model. And then I'm going to make sure the texture map is selected in the shader. And then I'm going to press bake. I do have a more detailed uh, baking texture video on this channel if you want more detail on that. So the next step is to go into texture painting. I like to clean up these seams from where we merge the meshes together. Um, I use the clone tool on very low and just kind of pick up the texture and smooth out the lines so it's not very obvious that these meshes were merged together. And that's pretty much it. Um, this process you can do with other characters, you can do with props, you can do this process literally anything. Whatever two meshes, three meshes, four meshes you want to combine, you can do this. <laughs> I hope this video is helpful and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!